Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Proverbs chapter 15, which contains 33 of Solomon's Proverbs. I will give you another sampling of these since there are many Proverbs covering many different topics. Let me encourage you once again to read all the rest of them soon. Solomon wrote, A gentle answer turns away anger, but a harsh word stirs it up. The eyes of the Lord are in every place watching both the good and the evil. A fool rejects his father's discipline, but the prudent man cherishes it. The wicked person may even try to do religious things from time to time, but these things are an abomination to the Lord. But even the simple prayer of the upright is one of God's delights. Not only can God see what is inside the heart of a man, he can see inside the depths of hell. Better is a little food with the fear of the Lord than great treasures and feasts with spiritual turmoil. Solomon continued, If you get many people's advice, your plan may succeed. If you do it on your own, you will likely fail. A wise son makes his father glad, but a fool gives his mother heartache. The path of the wise leads upward into heaven, and he avoids the fires of hell. God will tear down the house of the proud, but he will build up the house of the wise and the widow. Whoever hates bribes will live. Whoever takes bribes will die. The wicked want to be far away from God, so that is what he gives them. The righteous want to be near to God, so that is what he gives them. The most important verses in this chapter are Proverbs 15, 8, and 9, which state, The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that God is not only able to see everything that happens on the earth, he can see into the depths of hell as well. God is against the wicked and the proud, but he is for the righteous and the humble. And God wants us to know that the wicked actually want to be far away from God. The righteous want to be close to him. And God gives them each what they desire. Do you want to be close to God? Do you want to be one of the righteous? You can be. Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. And the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and if we believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? Thanks for watching the Proverbs chapter 15 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos, too. See you next time.